Lock Cell References. In this lecture, we will learn about locking cell references, which will anchor our formulas in specific ways so that we can copy and paste them without having to rewrite them. Let's begin by locking a column. Please practice along with me in the you try section. Unlocked. Let's reference cell C12. Type equals and click C12. Hit enter. This is unlocked. What this means is that if you copy the formula to another cell, our reference will move the exact same number of cells left, right, up, or down. Let's copy our formula in cell to cell D30 and see where the reference moved. Make sure you're back on cell C22. Click on the Home tab, find Copy. Now click D30, go back to the Home tab, and click Paste. If we double click our cell, you'll see that the reference moved down and right. In our next example, we want to lock the column reference. What this means is that if we copy and paste our formula, the column will not change. The formula syntax is that you put a dollar sign in front of the column or the C. First type equals, click C12. Now you can either click into the cell and add a dollar sign in front of the C and hit enter. Or you can click C12 and hit F4 and toggle three times until you find the column reference. One, two, three. Same effect. Now let's copy this cell down to D31. On the Home tab, click Copy, Move Cells, click back to Paste, and you'll see that the reference cell moved down nine rows, but column C stayed the same. Now for a locked row, we'll follow the same process, but this time we'll lock the row or the number in the formula. First, let's type our formula add a dollar sign before the number, which is the row, and hit enter. Now, copy and paste your formula. You'll see that the referenced row stayed the same, row 12, but the column reference changed to D. Locked cell. Now, follow the same process, but lock both the column and the row. I like to use F4 for this one. Type equals, now click the reference cell, now hit F4, and you'll see that both the column and row are locked. Now hit enter, copy and paste, double click our copied formula, and you'll see that the reference didn't change one bit. Some with locked range. Now we'll lock a cell reference within a formula. This is where our tool really gets useful. Let's write a sum formula for the range C12 to C18. But now we want to lock this range, so we can manually add a dollar sign in front of each column and each row reference. Now we click Enter. However, to make this faster, we could use F4 to accomplish the same task. Write the same formula with the same range, but instead of manually adding dollar signs, tap F4 once. Hit Enter. Now we can copy and paste our formula. You'll see that the range reference didn't change. Here is a use case. We want to write a series of five formulas. Our first option is to write five separate formulas. But with locked cell references, we only really need to write one formula. Here's a scenario. I want to add C12 and C13 in cell G30. But in the next cell, I want C12 plus C14. 
And in the next cell, I want C12 plus C15. Okay, so let's, let's start by writing our first formula, C12 plus C13. But if we try and copy our formula down, you'll see that it doesn't work. We don't have C12 plus C14. We have C13 plus C14. So we have to redo it manually. And we would have to redo each formula manually this way. Now imagine instead of five cells, we have 6,000 cells that we want this formula in. How can we do it quickly? Well, the way that we do it is we write the same formula, but we lock the row for C12. So on C12, simply add a dollar sign before the row and then add C13 unlocked. If you copy and paste this formula to the cell below it, you'll see that we get C12 plus C14. So I got what I wanted and I can copy and paste this formula into as many cells as I'd like. Now that we've learned about the power of locking cell references, let's move on to some of my favorite formatting tricks in Microsoft Excel.